Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Uh, today we've got a bit of a treat, it's a Swift Edge 466. Now it's a six berth motorhome, six travelling seat belts. It's built on a Fiat chassis with 140 brake horsepower. Uh, we'll start off on the outside working our way around uh, and then we'll go inside and have a look in there and obviously go through all the specification and I'll show you all the details in there. Uh, just like to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel, so a big thumbs up to that. And also if you do like the channel or you've got something to say then do leave a comment below, click on the thumbs up and of course subscribe. Um, like I say, we're going to start off out here and then we'll go inside and have a good look in there. But follow me around and let's have a good look. So starting off on the front, obviously Fiat Ducato, 2.2 uh, turbo diesel, 140 brake horsepower. Uh, really nice look to the front of it actually. And of course you can see it's got that Swift badge right on the top there. Uh, moving around, 16 inch alloy wheels. Cool graphics actually going all the way around this one. And then just above, I'm not sure if you can see it, all the way along there, it's got a really nice Fiamma awning. So that is really good for the sun and the shade. Here is where you plug into your electricity. So if you're on a campsite, you would plug in there. And also if you're at home, you want to charge it, that will do that. We've got windows everywhere on this. So obviously passenger seat, uh, passenger window up on the top there. There is a double bed up there, which I'll show you in a second, but that's got a big window up there to keep that area nice and bright. Another window in here. Then you've got the habitation door. Just above there, we've got an LED light, which will obviously keep that area illuminated. And then just beneath there, we've got a step. Nice alloys on this, actually. 16-inch alloys by Fiat. And just here, we've got two grills. Now what this means is it's got a fridge and a freezer inside, uh, but check this out, just in here. Now this is one of the beds at the back. There is a single bed here and another single bed on top. The great thing about this fan is you can use this as storage. So underneath, if you want to have the bed down, you can slide things in under there, but you can actually lift this up out of the way and that connects up. So this whole area, slides up, holds up on the top here. So you've got a really big space in there for all your barbecues, bikes, canoes, things like that. At the back of the vehicle, it's got reversing sensors. It's also got a bike rack, which has been added to this vehicle. So a nice Chule bike rack, which will hold two bikes. Moving around, nice LED lights at the back there. Really cool looking actually. And then check this out. Where these bunk beds are at the back, you've got a window on the bottom bunk and a window on the top bunk. So that's really nice actually if you want to have a look out after you've had a, uh, a snooze at night. Inside here is where you keep your gas bottles. So it'll keep two pretty big gas bottles in there which will keep you going for a long, long time. Just underneath there, you've got the toilet cassette. So that's where the toilet cassette lives, obviously for anything to do with the toilet. Uh, quite easy access and you can obviously wheel that out. This is where you fill up the fresh water. And of course, it's got a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank. And again, we've got a nice window on this side as well. But let's have a, a little look around this fan just to get a good view of it. But gorgeous fan. This is a 2022 model. And this one actually is in stock here. And it's less than a thousand miles on the clock. Right, so just hopping into the cab of this vehicle. Really comfortable. You've got armrests on both sides, so that's really nice to relax. Of course, you've got electric windows. Got a really kind of comfortable steering wheel, so it's really thick and feels very sturdy. Obviously feels like quality. Uh, it's a multifunctional steering wheel, so you've got your controls on here uh, for your cruise control. Obviously you can answer telephone calls, all that sort of stuff. Um, we've got a stereo in the middle as well, which you can connect your mobile phone to. And there's also a handy, um, it's almost like a, a mobile phone carrier. So you could basically clip your mobile phone onto here or your tablet and you can have your Google Maps or your Apple Maps running on there all the time. Um, same in the passenger seat, really comfortable and just a nice place to be overall. Um, some cup holders down at the bottom and plenty of storage down here as well for keeping bottles and all that sort of stuff as you travel. But yeah, really nice place to be. Um, it does have uh, internal blinds which clip onto these windows 
Uh, so that's quite easy to do and you just clip them on of an evening and that will keep this area private. But yeah, overall the cab's great. Going inside the habitation door, you have got a fly screen and then walking in, this is your diner area, which I'll show you in a second. But at the rear of this van, this is where those single beds are. So single bunk beds. And as I mentioned, we have got windows in each bed, so on each level. There's also a uh, light at the end there to keep the air illuminated and you can touch that on and off whilst you're in bed. And again, you've got the window down here again with that light, but these beds are a really nice size. I'll give you the dimensions up on the screen in a second. To the right of these beds, you have got lots of cupboard space. At the moment, these are the screens to obviously go on the front windscreen, but obviously you take those out and keep those in the garage. And then just beneath, we've got lots of cupboard space. Again, it's full at the moment because it's got the carpets and things like that in there, which we've rolled up to keep nice and clean, but you could have got a lot of space for hanging clothes in there. To the left, more cupboard space in there, so plenty. And again, more cupboard space in here. Now this particular one has got a digital television aerial on it, and this is a booster box for the signal, so it boosts the signal. And you've got a rail on top for hanging all the clothes. But as a bedroom, really nice for the kids, or if you've got someone who's coming with you, they don't necessarily want to share a bed, then you've got that bed at the back. Uh, to the right hand side, we've got the kitchen. Now this has got a really kind of nice size work surface, big sink, of course this runs hot and cold water. And then above that, we've got some storage to keep items in for the kitchen, plate rack. Uh, I think, believe that's for your cutlery and things like that. To the right of all that, you've got a microwave, so that's really handy for your baked beans. And then below, we've got three gas burners with an electric hot plate. Uh, the electric hot plate's brilliant if you're on a campsite and you wanna save your gas. And then underneath, we've got a really nice size oven. Um, then we've got some drawers underneath that as well. So this has got a lot of storage. Um, just beneath the sink, let's see if we've got some more room in here actually. Yeah, more cupboard space in there and you've got some uh, cutlery uh, drawer as well. And then to the left of that, we've got a big, let me see if I can open it, there we go. Big fridge freezer. So not the biggest of fridge freezers, but the big, big fridge freezers take up quite a lot of space and obviously you want a nice size kitchen as well. As we move back, you've got a toilet and shower. Uh, it is a wet room, they call this, but you can close this off. So you've got a curtain that stops the toilet from getting wet. And then inside there, you've got a nice sink, bit of cupboard space. And then on the top there, just to the left, some storage space as well. Skylights throughout the vehicle. Again, fly screens and blackout blinds on those. And then as you walk through, this is the dinette area. So four traveling seat belts in here. This table does drop down and you can make that into a small bed. But if you like, you can pull that across and have this whole area as a double bed. So a really nice size, big double bed. I've taken the ladder down so you can have a look, uh, but that ladder normally lives on the top of the bed. Just to go up the ladder so you can have a look up here. This is a huge double bed, absolutely massive. You can leave that made up as well as the uh, singles at the back actually, you can leave that made up all the time. And again, you've got a little light up there you can turn on and off. And again, you've got a window up there, which is lovely. Just to the left here, cupboard space, swinging round to the right, more cupboard space. And again, more cupboard space. Right, so what a lovely family van. Really spacious, six berths, six traveling seat belts, bunk beds at the back, double over the front and a big double here as well. So it's perfect for a family. Lots of storage, cupboard space, nice size cooker. Uh, the van's around 7.3 meters in length. It's around 2.4 meters in width. Uh, the front double bed, which will be this area here, uh, is 215 centimeters by 180 centimeters. The rear bunk beds are 204 centimeters by 85, so a really nice size. And the over the cab bed, which is 190 centimeters by 134 centimeters. The vehicle's got a 60 litre fuel tank. It's got a 100 litre internal freshwater tank, and it's got a 60 litre uh, wastewater tank with a level sensor.
Uh, both the tanks got level sensors, sorry. Uh, this particular van's got alloy wheels, awning, bike rack, cab air conditioning, cruise control, and a digital TV aerial. And it's actually got less than a thousand miles on the clock. If you like the channel, please do subscribe to it. Give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, if I've missed anything on this van, then do put a comment below and I'll answer you as soon as I can. But overall, lovely van, Swift Edge 466. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon, guys. Stay tuned.